Hello, Malcolm here from Jewelry Bubble. Jewelry Bubble is my website where I sell jewelry as well as vintage collectibles. When you have some time, pop into jewelrybubble.com and if you like, give me some of your feedback. It's important to me to basically gauge what the general public think of my website out there. So that would be very much appreciated if you have some time. So today I thought I would do this video blog on how to video blog. I have been doing this now for two, possibly three weeks, not long at all. I started my YouTube channel, Jewelry Bubble, um, two or three weeks ago. I currently have two subscribers. Yesterday I had one, this morning when I got up I had two. So thanks universe, I'm very grateful for that. And so if you like this video and you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Or if you want to like or share or leave your comment or feedback, that would be much appreciated also. So how to start a video blog. When I started video blogging, my intentions and purpose for video blogging was to showcase products like jewelry and vintage collectibles on my video blog. Basically, a shout out for my website. And most of the time, that is what I do. Product, showcase, video blog. So if you are contemplating that you would like to start video blogging on YouTube or whatever media you should choose, there's Periscope also, um, you know, uh, decide what you want to blog about. You could blog about um, how to, how to fix something, how to repair something, or you can blog about your hobby, or you can blog about nature, uh, environment, um, likes, dislikes, opinions, the sky's the limit, whatever you decide is up to you. What I would suggest you do is do what I do. Be yourself, be natural, and don't be someone you're not. Yes, you'll have people criticize you, but you know what? They're not putting themselves out. You are. And that takes a lot of inner strength and confidence to do that. I mean, look at me. I've got zits. I'm 55 years old, and I still break out. I have always broken out, and I was very self-conscious when I was young. But at 55, I don't give a shit. It is what it is. And so none of us are perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm sure you're not perfect. The thing is, do what you like. If you want to blog, you go for it. And you don't let anybody talk you out of it. Also, I read a book. Um, I think it was called The Five Minute, uh, The Five Second Rule. Really good book. Um, if you want to read it, I recommend it. Um, also, you may talk yourself out if you want to do this. I can't, you know, like, I don't have this, I don't have that. Don't do that because you know what? You may regret it. If you want to do this, go ahead and do it. No one is stopping you but yourself. I do not have any fancy dancy uh, equipment or lighting or editing. I basically shoot my video and I upload them. Um, they're not perfect. I think my skill set will get better in time. Um, I'll be more confident, less nervous, and more natural in front of the camera. Um, so when I look at my video, I'm full of self-criticism. But you know what? You're going to be your toughest critic. You, you know that and I know that and we, we are all like that. So. Don't let yourself first stop you from video blogging. That's the most important thing. And if you want to do it, don't ask people's opinions. Just go ahead and do it. That's all. It's what you think matters. So how to? You don't need any fancy equipment. I shoot my videos on my iPad or my iPhone. If you have a smartphone, you can do that on your smartphone. If you have a tablet, you can do that on your tablet. If you have a laptop, do it on your laptop sitting on a sofa, be comfortable, talk about whatever you feel confident 
comfortable and have a good knowledge base to talk about. That's all. Demonstrate what you want to demonstrate. Um, build whatever you want to build. Cook something and you showcase what you're cooking and share the recipe with people. People will appreciate it. They'll be grateful. And just go for it. If you get negative people, don't let that bother you. They have problems in their lives. You don't. Let them deal with their karma. You don't have to worry about them. You just take care of you. So do it. Don't talk yourself out of it. You don't need fancy equipment. I'm a living example. I basically shoot, upload, and that's it. I also periscope. Periscope is a little bit harder. Actually, it's a lot harder because it's real time. And if you make mistakes, there's no taking it back unless if you delete it. But as you're shooting it, people will be watching it. It's called live streaming. Live, not, not live 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 streaming but even when I shoot like this video I'm shooting on iMovie it's going back and forth you see um, I'm not going to edit it because I don't know how to it's going to be uploaded on YouTube and people can watch it as it is if you want to give me feedback negative fine go for it it's your life you do what you want positive and constructive feedback I would really appreciate on how I can improve my skills because there's always room for self-improvement. Oh, you can do beauty videos too if you're into makeup, skincare, um, fashion, do be uh, clothing, do, do them, do the beauty video. I'm into jewelry. Um, I have been for many years. I've been selling online since 2006. And so I enjoy this. this. This is something I've always enjoyed. I go antiquing and auctioning and thrifting and estate sales, you name it, I do it. And it's a hobby of mine and it's a passion of mine and I love it. Um, so you blog about what you want to blog about, okay? And um, what else can I share with you about blogging? You know, there's nothing else. Don't copy anybody. Be yourself. What you see from me, what I've been doing, it's, that's it. It's the raw deal. I haven't looked out other bloggers doing this. I haven't copied anybody. This is basically with this salt and pepper hair. What, you, what it is, what is it? Is. Mm. That's it, you know? Look at that. That's even not perfect. So do what you want, but I suggest you just basically push the button on the screen and look at that lens and make eye contact, not like this, but naturally, and talk to people and hopefully you'll resonate. So I am going to now say bye-bye. Um, if you have the time, jewelrybubble.com, my website, and um, you have a great Thursday night. I am in the West Coast, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's a gray day out there. It's been raining all day long. Um, not so cold, not so windy, but usually rain Vancouver weather. This is our winter. I'm looking forward to spring. As you can see my plants, some of my plants in the background, I might talk about them one day and how they're doing if you're interested because I love plants also and I love flowers and I love nature. Um, yeah, so I hope you listen to your inner voice like I listened to mine and I continue to and uh, do your blog and be happy in whatever you do and don't judge yourself and don't be so hard on yourself because you are the first responder of your life and nobody will love you like yourself. And that's not narcissistic. It's not coming from a narcissistic place. I think you know what I mean. It's coming from a human to human connections. So bye for now. Have a good evening. Signing off. Malcolm from Jewelry Bubble. Bye bye.